Hello and welcome back everybody, I am one proud Bavarian and we are here as Velki Wolf Vesebo who will probably soon die and I'm not actually sure, there is a real possibility here that our realm will split into Ruthenia, Chernigov and Novgorod. It's tough to determine most of the time, mostly because it just says, oh, under elective Gavelkind it may split apart, but we never actually know if it will. So um, we're going to take a look at this, maybe it's just going to splinter so that, you know, like our main provinces are given out to other... Uh, as I think even if that wasn't the case, I am pretty confident that we will be in a position to actually push through, you know, and uh, reunite it, mostly because our retinue is so goddamn large already. But, as it stands, we are quite successful. We're having a good run here. We have reformed the Slavic religion, and we are fairly close to forming the Empire of uh, Russia. Now, there is no way that we're going to form a proper new empire here, because that's just, like, the prestige, the personal wealth, the realm, realm size, it's all impossible. Instead, I will try in this episode, before we die, to push... Were you? Oh, right. I guess. You're re retaking that, huh? How big are you? Not that small, actually. Um, You know, we're just gonna take a look here. I wanna kinda build it up to a degree where I can be happy with it. I'm gonna build you up so that you're no longer nomad agitation facing probably gonna be lost but i think that's okay i don't really care what we need to do is we need to conquer more parts of russia now as you can see the hungarians hold a decent chunk of it as you can see here the sumonesco and this dude also hold a decent chunk of it so i was thinking maybe if i am in a position to actually do this first of all there you go thank you if i would be in a position to actually do this what i would be looking at here is essentially kicking you into the face. You also just go for a holy war, I suppose. That's pretty decent. Do I take extreme attrition here? Not actually sure. Maybe. Great holy war for flooding me. Ooh. Right. We do have the option of great holy wars now, but I'm not sure that we want to waste it just on that stuff. Could go for a great holy war for Hungary itself. That is crazy. Like, that is such a blob right there. Oh, no. What we could also do, of course, is Holy Wars Gaelic, for example. You're Tengri, right? I think that's the best option here. I'm gonna go for a Holy War for, for Gaelic. It's, uh, I always point out it's not pronounced Gaelic. I know! It's just like English, Englishified, you know? We obviously pr pronounce it Gaelic in, in German, uh, but Gaelic is just like, it, it slips off the tongue when you do it in, in English. But you're right, of course, it's garlic. And we're gonna go for garlic, and I think I'm gonna declare that war right away. Most of our vassals will join, perfect. Thank you so much. So let's try to clear this out. The White Bear. Lately you've heard persistent rumors from peasants and travelers in the wilds that a strange mythical beast has been sighted in your realm. It is a white bear, powerful and elusive. The common folk claim it comes from another world, and that the hunter who claims it will be imbued with divine power. Right, look. And um, before we do anything else, I guess we don't necessarily have to clean up the organizational mess that we're facing here. Duke of Valinia, huh? I do want to uh, clean it up though. I'm going to transfer Vassalich here of Sudovia. Where even is he? Doesn't even show up, does he? Chief Igor of Sudovia. Nobody's named Igor here. Oh, if only I had any idea what was going on. Cannot find that duchy. Can we find this duchy? Piskov. I'm gonna create it. It's gonna cost us a decent chunk of money, but then I can unify these lands here. Which I do believe makes a lot of sense. Hmm. It's the Slavic Church. It's pretty cool. We can demand his religious conversion quite soon, as soon as we are at peace anyway. Um, what are we holding? We're holding the church. We're holding Smolensk and we're holding Turov. Maybe want to give away Smolensk, huh? Probably to you, actually. Yeah, sure. Let's see why not. Um, now we're down to 20 out of 16. That's pretty decent for starters. Nah, I don't want to create that one. I really want to create that one, I guess. None of these are under me anyway. Like, I'm holding... I'm on the lookout, right? 
for people that I can hand out. That handing out will not hurt me at all. What are you? Chief of Ushitsia. It's not even in the goddamn list. And I don't understand why. I really do not understand why. Um, what we're going to do here. Let's let's just go to war. Everybody loves us anyway because we're such a great king. Uh, we can think about a vassal reorganization later. Not really necessary to do it right now. My lover has avoided me. Right, we're breaking up. Well, just the way it goes sometimes. And they're still re-voting for our heir the entire time. Love it. Wife Duga is pregnant. And take leave, absolutely, for the pregnancy. While carrying out my duties for the champions of Peru, I have met warrior Sambor on several occasions. These encounters have never ended well. One would be hard-pressed to find a more unsympathetic character. I suspect he's spreading lies behind my back to damage my reputation. Bitter rivals, sure. I'm a big fan. These are the old guards as well, what's the point? Can you make him convert, please? Not really, I suppose. Oh, you're also still the Slavic heresy, huh? Hmm. Yeah, we can't go with religious until uh, we have legalism level 2. And we're far away from that, let me tell you. We're far, far away from that. Hmm. Gotta buy more of these. Fill it up, my retinue, boys. Fill it all up. Good news! Okay, the Great White Bear has been sighted. You want me to loot the province over here? We can do that, yeah. That's easy. Looting provinces, that is easy money. Let's carry on over here. What do I feel about this dude? He's alright. Council is doing okay as well. Mm. An epic hunted Shelby, you're ready to set out to hunt the great white bear. I, th I don't know when the last time was that I actually ever finished one of those, like actually succeeded with one of those. I don't remember. don't even know if it ever happened. And you know what? The attaching here? Bit of a mistake it looks like. Because we clearly are taking all the attrition in the world. Yeah, it's down to 6k, 14k. But it's only that province actually. Yikes. How are you doing in these other provinces? 6k, 10k? Uh, it's pretty bad. Look, where is your army? Oh, he's fighting another war, huh? Well, in that case, we may be able to aid him up here. Nah, I think I'm just gonna, like, park my troops on friendly territory. This is 20k, we can definitely be there. Your wife's pregnancy is not going well at all. She can no longer leave her bed and has been barely conscious during the past few days. If she is not properly treated, she may well not survive the pregnancy. Treat her properly, thank you. By which I mean, pray for her. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Just praying uh, for your dearest. As a high success rate, thoughts and prayers. Legendary gathering. My, make it known to all that the champion of Perun will have Bard singer that eats for time immemorial. Okay, this starts the quest then, where you get the the thing done here, and then everybody, or one person gets a gets a bloodline. Let's take a look. A daughter was born, right? Labor is not going well. My wife is bleeding profusely and she seems to be suffering from great pains. The bleeding does not stop. Soon she will surely perish. Well, looks a bit dire, doesn't it? Ah! But she seems to have miraculously recovered from it with e without any permanent damage. Just what I needed to see. Let's put you in. Guess how many can be there? 16k? -er. Wish I didn't have, a, have to attach all of these here. Some of you just like leave. What's the problem with you? Leave me alone. Take this out, thank you. Oh, I'm not the leader of the siege, are you kidding me? Hmm. Let's just push deeper into their territory. I mean, if you don't do that, then what are you here for? Really, you know, you gotta just destroy the enemy whenever you can. This is one of those chances here. Once the Agarians are dealt with, we can look in the other direction. The Slavic faith has been reformed and this has led to religious fervor throughout the lands of the Slavs, the likes of which has never been seen before. Many of the greatest champions have come together to form a new Slavic holy order. They call themselves the Warriors of Perun, the God of Thunder, and have all taken vows to defend the Slavic faith and its believers to their dying breath. Nice. Let's go, boys. 
Let's go. 74%. How many can be there? 12k. 16k. Let's go down here. Take him out. There you go. Whenever they are willing to end the war, I'm going to end it. I'm just telling you right now. I'm just here to get rid of them, you know? I want the Angarians out so that I can focus on other things. The arm wrestling challenge. Spirits are high. You know what? Uh, don't really want to lose the prestige there. I'll pick the strongest I can find. High chief matches love the word slayer. Word slayer. Matches love and I sit in front of one another, preparing ourselves for the game. We put our arms on the table while a third fighter holds our fists still. The crowd ch around us chants a disjointed countdown and cheers as we start pushing against each other. All right, he tried to fool us. And uh, I'm not gonna, you know what? Tonight, just as I was about to leave the main hall, I was approached by Lyudmila, one of my fellow warriors. After chatting for a while, she reveals to me that she has been watching me for a while and finds me to be a very strong and attractive fighter. We're now in love, and I will use this to convert this lady. She evidently doesn't feel like it. Oh, come on, dude. I just need to... Start with all these events. They're meaningless. They're entirely meaningless. 98%. Almost done. I just need you to go away. Oh, that's a 100 right there. Beautiful. Thank you so much. And that la Excuse me. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, that's fine. I almost forgot that that was not ours. All right. Beautiful. I don't want to keep any of this. And I'm, yeah, I don't, I don't actually want to keep any of this. Give me Gaelic, I can't, uh, Gaelic, can't create it, which is a bit of a shame. What I'm going to do instead is Kiev. How are you doing, my friend? Why don't you just take this stuff off my hands, huh? You can hand it out. I don't care. It's your thing, not mine. All right, and with that, we are much, much closer to actually being able to form the Empire of Russia. Let's take a look here. Uh, we're not 70%. 80% of 90, Jesus, if I knew that, I think it's like 70 provinces? 72, 73, something like that, I think. Are all my vassals, by the way, getting ready? Yeah, they're all in this war, but nobody's re- Oh, wait, no, nobody's in this war. I can't even call them in here. Hmm. Guess I could beat up the Swedes on my own time. Shouldn't be this hard, right? Then hmm. if I don't intervene, I mean, there's no negatives to it, really. Let me just, you know, I'm. I want to do other things. Look, Lithuania. Sorry to tell you, you're a good kid and all, but I'm not gonna really aid you. Ah, I need more prestige for that. You. Oh, come on. We're still at war. I forgot about it. Oh, and we have a fever. Uh, court physician. Igor, hello. Please aid me. I'm not sure that did anything. You made me fast. Jesus. Igor, please aid me. I'm gonna die here. Okay, he actually did something for once. All right, look at this. What I would love is if you just vassalize, but you don't want to, huh? Uh, I could claim Riazan, but the council is against it. Oh, because I am disabled. Can't even do anything. Can I? Hmm. Yeah, our long-term plan might be having to reassemble the realm. I'm not sure if it's actually going to happen, you know, like, I, I don't know the way, the specific way that it's going to split, but I'm worried that it will split and uh, give us a bit of a pain in the butt there. I could definitely see it, you know. Oh, they are for Holy Wars, it appears. I mean, I'm going to go for a Holy War for Maria then. Yeah, I mean, all of this is in the realm, but this is more provinces, so why wouldn't you, right? All right, so we're just going to declare a Holy War for Maria here. And I actually think that I'm going to call in my vassals, and I'm not even... Like, they can do this. You know, I'm not I'm not going to deal with that. 
I think that's okay. Could I declare on you? Force, I can't force vassalization right, remember? Can do this one and people even approve. Could I still call them in? Yeah, most of them, sure. I think they can do that. Chief Casimir the Whisperer. One of my sons. I think they actually do have to attach me because some of them are already doing it. Alright, you know what? Let's just clean up this mess. We want to power through this as quickly as we can. I achieve Zavron Zavoronak calls right. What are your attributes? You're deceitful. Didn't we have something for deceitful? We have a trusting one. None of these really fit. Envious, shy, ambitious, proud. I'm gonna go with envious, shy because craven and deceitful actually kind of reek like that, but not really. We spar with words for a while, but soon Zavoronok's face grows red with rage and embarrassment, surrounded by the laughter of the other warriors. Unable to put together a coherent response, my opponent has clearly lost the fleeting. Mm, do not be mad, my friend. The absolute madman. Krakow tribe. Hmm. Take that down. Take all of you down. Okay, what we need to do is I want to go like this. You want to catch him, but I, I will cross the river. Yeah, that's fine. I can definitely do that and feel good about it. We simply have the numbers. You know, sometimes it really is just like a numbers business. Just look at it and you go like, yep, I can definitely deal with that because that's going to be an easy money. And the Zoroastrian faith triumphs over the Manichaean faith. That's all right. We're going to be able to take them out here in a, in a second. In no time. Boom. You've been dealt with, brother. We do, however, have 11k here. I guess that's all the Zumonescos banding together. I should have known better than that, I suppose. Raise some of my troops which will put us over the edge here. Um, I do not want to hold any of this land, though. Hey, my friend. Would you love this land? Yes. You get this. You get Tver, and you get Mosaishk. There you go. I really care for that land. And now it's time to clean clean them up. They do not have the strongest troops, mind you, but they are not weak. Do not mistake them for weaklings here. They, they are definitely a threat to us if I do not manage to gather all the troops together. Oh, they went into different directions, huh? Oh, these fools. They made it too easy. Simply too easy. And we're taking attrition for literally nothing, Jesus. Oh, come on. I hate this walking around in this fucking delta of rivers. Every damn time. Right. Let's just re-siege all of this as quickly as we can. And let's head into the east. Apparently one of the courtiers has been annoyed by uh, has been annoying my wife Duga. And instead of asking me for help, she took the matter in her own hands and made sure the courtier would never annoy her again. Or you'd know the consequences. What on earth was she thinking? We don't really care for either of them, do we? Can we actually be treated, please, by the way? The gout is really doing us a disservice here. Yeah, let's get him. This will teach him. Oh my goodness, they got... Oh, this is not even the 8k stack. This was just a smaller stack. Let's go get him. Yep, there they go. Easiest money. And we captured him. It's all over. It is all over for you, my friend. And that just means that I need some person to take care of all these titles. Look, I'm just gonna be real with you. Novgorod, I'm gonna give you land so that you like me more. Because the land is entirely worthless as well, which is beautiful. Might as well hand it over to you. And then we will be in a position to actually, you know... Convert you once the other war's over that uh, we were stupidly dragged into. There you go. Let's hand it over to that dude. How are we doing here? Don't see the empire there. 
Control 77%. We're almost there. We are almost there, but we're also 58, and we don't even have the money to do anything. And uh, since we are not Christian or Muslim, we cannot actually get anything from the Jews. So what do we do here? Stand together? Could donate money, but that's just the opposite of what we want to do. <laughs> that is the opposite of what we want to do indeed. Alright, there you go. We need some more land. Look, we don't need much more land, but if we could create Russia, wouldn't that be beautiful? So I think it's like two or three provinces more, maybe. Show me that again. I need to I need to see the outlines again. We can't conquer this. We could try to conquer these two. They're separate. Or maybe I could even... Can I just ask you to become a... Oh. Right, I'm not at peace. Oh, he's not at peace, actually. He's attacking for lesser Poland? He's winning. Hmm. Can't even declare war on you. Why would I lose so much prestige? Actually don't understand. Hmm. We could also, of course, go for some nomad land, and honestly, now that I think about it, it might be the best option because nomad land is so easy to take. Is this one duchy here? No, it's two separate duchies, that's a shame. That is a shame. We could two take we, we could take two promises here from the Kazarians. And I almost think that, that should be worth it. Right? Could do a really stupid holy war. We're not gonna do that. <laughs> We're gonna liberate Bryansk. Does that cost me anything? It does not. Let's do that. Let's call in our vessels. And uh, off we go, I would argue. Just head down here. Have everyone attach. Attrition or not, we are going to have everyone attached. And then we just need to worry about how could we get more money. Honestly, the money is the biggest... We lost that, Jesus. And a peasant revolt came in as well. Oh, they suddenly were 4k, huh? Oh boy. Oh boy. This could be a bit of an issue. No, you never consider it. Until it actually takes place like this. Uh, I'm not worried at all about the peasant revolt. That's that's one thing you have to understand. I'm not worried about this at all. And I don't think this this war's a mistake yet. It's definitely not one of my better moments though. I will say that. It I think it's one of the worst moments here. Come on, I just need you all to unite here and we're taking fucking attrition on our own land every damn time. Oh, he usurped something, which is very nice. He just blobbed for us. Thanks for blobbing, my friend. And let's just move in. And the fucking Slavic uprising. Right, let's finish you guys off. I like that the wolf against Sweden is even won at this time. We lost it! God damn it! Every damn time, I always play too... Fuck. Playing too aggressively here. Far too aggressively. Holy shit, what is going on? I'm falling apart, boys. This is bad. This is really bad. I'm actually falling apart. Alright, everybody up there. Oh my goodness, this is terrible right now. I think we can do this, but it's gonna take some time. And I, I, this is this is difficult. I made it. I was too rash here. Okay, I I'll take it. And they even captured us. Jesus fuck. I don't know, we have to take care of this. Was until several uh, Maybe you forgot, don't worry about it. Don't really care about your bank cats, mate. More heretics? Oh god, they're gonna defeat us. Nope. We did it. Alright, beautiful. 100 percent Woo! That could have been very terrible. Extremely terrible. Let's clean up over here then. Beautiful. And now it is merely against this dude. And we can do that. And if we win against this dude, we might actually be done and we already control enough. We need two kingdom tier titles. Do we have anybody? Oh, look at this baby. Yes. Oh, that's going to be a lot of clicking here. 
<laughs> it's gonna be a lot of clicking here. You want me to call you in Lithuania, Lithuanian war? Come on, man. Are you attacking there? No, you're defending. You know what? If they eat you, I don't care. That's okay. So much ransom payments, you wouldn't even know. Let's get rid of him here. What about rival state? Look, I'm I'm pushing forward, but I'm I'm hyped. I want the the empire to actually be a thing. If we form the empire of Russia, I will feel so good about this playthrough because everything happens so damn quickly. Oh, there they are. That is frightening. That is a frightening amount of troops. All right, what about we just march down there? Oh, they're coming, boys. This is good. We lured them in. I lured them in. Let's hope that we win this. They have everything against them. We have everything in our favor. If we don't beat them here, we will never beat them. We will never beat them. All right, you know what? I have to give him money if I do that. I would love a white piece. <laughs> All right, you know what? You win this time. I would rather just lose it like this. That's okay. Honestly, that is okay. Because what I'm going to do now is we got to find a way to achieve the monetary uh, baseline here. Still losing money. Get rid of all of these. I need money. Really do. Did I tell you about the story of me needing money? This costs me how much? 235 gold. What is my ambition? Nothing. Build a war chest. Yes! Uh, wait a minute, isn't there, shouldn't there be a thing where I can press my vassals for money? Apparently not. <gasps> Sorry, this is a very, very disorganized episode. Like, I'm, I lost some wars. Don't worry about the mistakes, okay? Look, here's my perspective on this series so far. It has been incredibly successful, way more successful than I thought it would be in terms of how far we and how quick we expand. If I make mistakes here and there, do not worry about it too much because it's going to be fine. If I can get some money here, that would be gorgeous. Is that everybody? Yes, sir. Oh, oh, oh. You know what? I'm just gonna... You get the title down there, sure. Um, can we do this? How much money do you need for the Empire of Russia? It's 350 gold. We cannot do it yet. I think we only need like 200 gold for a kingdom. 233. So we need about like, what? 233 plus 350... 80 something that's not that much more money you know that's actually not that much more money uh, if only I knew I banished you right oh this is good this is the stuff that I'm talking about at least it says if you get gold if you banish him yes Boom. Here we go. Easy money. Easy money. Kingdom of Vladimir. Go get him, boys. Oh, let's go! Oh, let us go! The Empire of Russia has been formed. I've made some mistakes today, but we have achieved the ultimate form of gameplay. The Empire of Russia has been formed. Oh, this is sweet, sweet justice. Because now it means that we will not actually fall apart on our death. We will kind of fall apart, but we will not entirely fall apart. Also, nobody wants to give him the Kingdom of Vladimir, really? I guess that's okay. You know what? I'm ending the episode right here. Next episode is going to be a bit slower. Honestly, I think we can slow down. I just wanted to see, can I form the Empire of Russia in this episode? I could. I tried so hard, and in the end, we figured it out. I should do more with the ransom and the banish mechanics. I'm, I actually agree with that statement that was posted in the comments as well. But hear me out here. We've done it. We have done it. The Empire of Russia is in our hands. We're blobbing deep into the Wendish Empire. 
We could literally have a holy wolf for hungry for anything, really. Let me know what do you think we should have a holy wolf for. We we can go crazy. We will pass away. This dude will take over, or any of our sons will take over. And we are in a gorgeous, gorgeous position. Let me just remember. Who did I want to convert here? I can't even... You, most certainly. Yep, I remember that. No need to convert you. Alright, that looks good. I will see you in the next episode. Mother Russia lives. Later. Alligator. <laughs>